And here I have an example of how limit switches are used in this application here. So this roller table here is going to lift all the way up and it's using these two limit switches to let the PLC know that it's in the down position or if it's in all the way in the up position. So right now it is in the down position. So you can see that this bracket here is making contact with the lever of this limit switch. So right now the machine knows that it's in the down position. So 24 volts comes into the normally open set of contacts in this limit switch. And then it goes back out to the PLC. It sends that 24 volts back to the PLC, letting the PLC know that it's all the way down. It's using that 24 volts back to the PLC as an input signal to the PLC. And if it would raise all the way up, it would then trigger and actuate the arm of this limit switch. And now it's gonna send this 24 volts back to the PLC to let the PLC know that it is all the way up. You can continue with the sequence. If the PLC does not see that 24 volt input signal coming from this limit switch here, it would think that the roller table is not in the down position. So if we would have a board coming up, it would probably stop and it would just stall there. The sequence would not continue until that problem is fixed. Because if the PLC doesn't see that, it would think that it is either up or it is not down. And if they would send the board, it would crash into the table. The board would not make its way and set on the table. So there you have it with this little crash course on limit switches. Until next time, deuces.